Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. In today's video, we will learn how to create an independent working clock that shows you the time on a TM 1637 clock module. But instead of 24 hours, it will be in minutes. But you can change that easily by changing just one or two values. What I meant by independent was that the clock will have its own timer and will not be getting its current time from the internet. The schematic. Luckily for us, the schematic of the TM1637 clock module is very simple and easy to plug in. If you turn around your clock module and watch closely, you can see that you only need to hook up four pins, each labeled with a little tag on it. The bottom two ones speak for themselves. VCC needs to be plugged into the 5 volts and the ground to the ground. Next we have DIO and CLK pins. I hooked the DIO pin to pin number 3 and the CL key pin to pin number 2. The DIO pin is the data input output pin and the CL key pin stands for the clock pin. Before we can start declaring like usual, we might want to add two libraries to the libraries folder in our Arduino folder. A link for both libraries will be in the description down below. One for our timer and one for our TM1637 module. I don't want to go in full depth of the clock module. I just want to go in depth on how to create your own clock or timer, that's why we will be using a library for that. On to our Arduino IDE. Firstly, let's include our libraries so we can make use of them. Up next, let's define our CL key and DIO pins. Or you can create an integer, CL key or DIO, with the value 2 or 3. It's up to you, it's up to you really. Now let's set these pins to our clock module using the library. And now let's create all the variables that we'll be using to our calculations with and whatnot. Let's move on to the setup. Here we have to do a few things. First, we use our clock module TM1637 and set its brightness to 2 and initialize the clock module afterwards. Now we can add a serial.begin for a serial monitor by now you should know what this does. If you do not, I advise you to go to the beginning of my Arduino series. And after this, we can use our timer, T, to call in a void called cal calc time every 1000 milliseconds, so one second. And we want to assign this to timer, our double. Next, we go to our loop. If, one, if we want our timer T to work, we want to continuously update it so whenever it reaches a second, we can call our void calc time, so let's do that right now. Now that that is done, we want to create our void calc time, like so. Now the first thing we want to do is check whether the timer is above 1440. This translates to 24 hours if you do the math, or 24 minutes. If it does hit 4, 000, uh, 1440 or higher, we will reset the, count, uh, the clock to zero, like any any other clock will do in real life. Now we want to do some calculations to show our so-called hour and minutes. And now let's show our hour and minutes in a serial.println. And now one more important thing to add, this will ensure that after it has shown you the time, the timer will go up a second. Now now we want to make sure that this is, that this works just fine, so let's try and run it. Also, make sure your Arduino is plugged in like that. Now let's upload it. Go to Tools, open up your serial monitor, and watch closely. As you will see, the time will be displayed. Now, we want to show our time on the TM1637 clock module. Firstly, we will create a void show time. Like so. And now let's call in this void right before it adds up the timer by 1. Now in the showtime void we want to split up our hour and minute to be able to parse it into our 
digits individually to our TM1637 display. After you've done the conversion, conversion, you want to do one more thing and that and that is whether the colon in the middle has to be shown the second or the next. We do this like we do this like so. Now that this is done, we want to display our converted number into our clock module, the uh, clock module display like so. Now let's try and run this. But wait, don't leave yet. There was one thing with this TM1637 library that I noticed, and that it's ran and that it randomly stopped working for, from time to time. So sometimes it reached up to 10 minutes, sometimes it reached up to 20 minutes, sometimes it didn't even reach up to 5 seconds. So I tried another library for the clock module and it runs smoothly without any problems. But I was unable to activate the middle column. Maybe you guys can figure this out for me and I will upload this later on or will paste the code down below in the description. So if you want, if you want to use the other library, just follow me. But firstly, if you are too lazy to write all of this code for yourself, you can visit my Patreon page where I upload all of my code weekly or monthly when I'm busy from time to time. I only charge it of, uh, on the beginning of each month. Anyways, it's worth trying out because you will have access to so much code. Now back to the exercise. Firstly, we want, you to, we want to change the library from this to this. Now add in these to be able to parse in the data for the clock module. Now you can delete the set and init in the setup and change this from uh, change with the brightness from this to this. Now on to now on to the show time. You want to delete the whole if colon statement like so. And change the setting of each digit to our clock other to our other clock module like so. Oh, and of course, add in this library as well. I've put a link in the description for this library down below. And make sure you grab this folder and drag it out in the libraries, like so. Now you can do whatever you want with the display master. And now let's try and run this. Uh, as you can see, I forgot one more thing. You want to change this part to this, and now it should be all fine. Now let's try and upload this again. And as you can see, this runs smoothly without any problems. So what to do now? I advise you to buy the TM1637 clock module. I'll have a link in the description down below. I don't think the clock module is included in the starter, train, starter kit, but I still advise you to buy the starter kit or the cheaper version. Link to that will be in the description as well. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page containing all of my files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code. Link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.